Sinnoh has it all. Look at his outfit, look at his drip, look at his stats, look at his animations. There's just one small problem. You know what? I can do this. You're almost there. You only have to do this another 24 times. Also, I can't be the only one thinking this, right? But where's his nipple? What's up, bullies? It's Invain here. And in today's video, we're going to be spending over 5,000 resin to level up our Sinnoh. In this video, we're going to be going over what I spent my resin on, what build and team comp I'm going to be using, leveling Sinnoh up, their talents, weapon, and artifacts, and finally testing out their team and forming a final opinion. Also, recently, I've been playing a lot of Genshin on stream. If I die, I die. If I die, it was a skill issue. If you're interested in hanging out or chatting live, check out my Twitch link on the screen and in the description. Also, why not join the community Discord while you're at it? But with that out of the way, let's jump right into it. Hey bullies, it's been a while. So recently I've managed to pull Sinnoh off the latest banner. Depending on when that video goes up, you'll see how that went. But a little bit of a spoiler, I was able to get a copy of my first Candice. Oh my god, um, I don't care if she's good or not, her design is amazing. And then also, I finally got a copy of Kuki as well, so hopefully that means I have some more interesting characters to build in the near future. So definitely watch out for that. Outside of that, I've been busy hunting for perhaps the worst local specialty I've ever seen. So I thought it would be a fun idea to build Sinnoh, um, and then I realized very quickly, this, this, this Scarab. Okay. This needs to stop. I'm already getting flashbacks to when I had to level up Heizo and farm these Oni Kabuto. This was bad, but not nearly as bad as these new Scarabs. Sure, there's some scattered around that you can just easily grab, and I do have Tignoni, which shows me where they are, but surprise, surprise. Half of them are actually here on this map, and that should be fine, right? I, I have all the teleporters, that's fine. No, that's not fine. These are not all the teleporters. Half of them are underground, and that means half of the scarabs are underground. And you might be asking, okay, in vain, how do I get underground? Well, it's really simple. There's two story quests you have to do to get underground. Unfortunately, I don't want to do four to five hours worth of story, so... Instead, on stream yesterday, I went and ran to a bunch of people's worlds to uh, repurpose their scarabs and put it in my pocket instead. So special thank you to all those people. Okay, but with that all out of the way, I think it's finally time for us to level up Sinnoh. So I have been pre-farming for this guy for a little bit. So in terms of boss materials, I've got them all ready. We've got 46. I'm pretty sure that's the right amount. Please don't tell me it's the wrong amount. And this, oh my god, the scarabs, 169 of them. Very nice number, by the way. This was so atrocious. Yeah, look, this thing right here, this dung beetle right here, so difficult to farm. And look, it's very cute how they roll up this poopy ball, but like, no, it's it's so hard to get them. How did it get so big? Anyways, get in my pocket, add another one to my collection. But yeah, outside of that, I've also got some weapon choices that we'll take a look at later. I think Sinnoh ascends with uh, crit damage, which is usually very good, except that I don't have a good crit rate five star weapon. So we're going to have to definitely explore that. And artifacts. Oh my gosh. I, I've spent so much resin. Not just resin, but also the strong box. Just re-rolling and re-rolling and re-rolling here. Because supposedly, Thundering Fury can be his best set. Because of the cooldown it gives on reactions. But I've also heard that Glad, surprisingly, is really good as well. And having been playing this game for a while, I think I have some pretty decent Glad pieces. So we'll see. We might have to do a little comparison. Like, for example, this one on Ayaka. Like, look at this. I could easily slot that on him. Anyways, we'll take a look at that later. I've got no constellations and talents are all 111 as well. So I think it's time for us to start leveling. You might notice today as well, I'm starting at 20 out of 40. I know this is very strange for an in vain video. So what happened? Um, my stream peer pressured me into pulling on the standard banner. I had 37 pulls and we needed three more. So the way I got it was Sinnoh, Candice and Kuki. So thank you for those uh, single acquainted feints. Very copium, I know. Anyways, it's time for Sinnoh to get leveled up. Okay, so let me go quickly get some more XP. 
I don't know any good farming locations here in Sumeru yet, so back to Mondstadt it is. Also, I kind of want to test out Sinnoh's damage. I've got a few team comps in mind as well that we can test out later. But first, quickly getting some EXP. Oh, 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 oh. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, sorry. <laughs> no, leave me alone. You know what? I don't think I'm ever going to stop playing Yelan. Unless they make a Yelan 2. I think I'm good. She's just so good at everything. I mean, Yelan is just perfect. I can think of at least two reasons why she's amazing. She's so tanky and she does so much damage. Duh. Quick message from our sponsors. Well, we have no sponsors. So if you did want to support me, why not like, sub, and hit that bell? It's free and it helps me out a lot. Thank you so much and back to the video. Maybe we go down here, use Venti for a little bit. Here we go. Helicopter, helicopter. Oh my god, that guy got sucked all the way back and he was just trying to walk away. Oh, I don't think I've ever done this before. Need some energy, please, please. Oh, I was just going to say, this is the one time Ye Lan Xing Chu might not be good, but somehow I got Pyro. I think the uh, Hilly Troll just started lighting up his stuff. And with that, Sinnoh is level 40. Let's keep it going. Okay, eat these scarabs. I vow to uphold the rules and punish evil. Hi, my name's Evil. Can you punish me? Dude, he is so freaking cool. I love his design and his voice. Whoever did the voice acting, amazing job. Oh! I just wasted 900 EXP. I think a part of me just died. Well, anyways, that means we don't have to farm this level. Let's keep it going. More scarabs for you, mister. No voice line, though. Okay. And we have 69 crit damage. Very nice. So like I said earlier, he gets crit damage when he ascends. I'm a tiny bit concerned that this might be causing problems because I don't have good 5-star crit weapons. And before you ask, no, I'm not going to pull on the weapon banner. Even though this one is pretty good. Um, you know, I just have too much trauma with weapon banners to do them on the regular. <laughs> it definitely gives me some anxiety when I do it. Okay, you know what? Here's a good spot. Here's always a good spot for XP. Okay. Uh, which side should we go for? How about this side? Lucky you guys. And you too. I don't think I have enough XP. Oh, there we go. Perfect, perfect. So, Sinnoh, let's keep it going. Unlocks new ability, authority over the nine bows. Uh, you know, I might be mistaken, but doesn't he use a polearm? Anyways, more scarabs for you, nice Mr. boost. Thanks a ton. Mm -hmm. That's it. He says thanks a ton, but I don't feel very grateful. He feels like a, a e boy. <laughs> he feels like a Sasuke experience. Okay, here we go. Wasting a 75 more XP. This is tragic, guys. I'm no longer level 69, so that's also very tragic. Oh, 79 crit damage. We're getting there. I think I got one more left. Okay, two here. Look at all this wasted XP. Tragic, tragic. Oh, oh, okay. I I, I need the uh I the big gemstone. Like in the mood sometimes. Do you? Um, let's go make ourselves some more big gem crystals. Oh, that's fine. We can craft some, right? Okay, twenty four of those, and then I think we needed six. So here we go. Oh, I forgot to check how much more he's gonna cost. Uh, I'll, I'll edit in post. You guys can see how much more I started with at the time of recording. Let's see how much we have left at the end. My strength has reached its peak. Pretty much. But there are still many things I can never accomplish relying on my fighting power yeah, alone. Yeah, you're not wearing any shoes. You need some Crocs. There will still be many times when emotions and rules do not agree. But I think I'll find the key to striking the right balance in the journeys to come. To come? Okay, never mind, never mind. <laughs> um, anyways, here we go. 81, as is customary with any new DPS character. And let's quickly grab out <laughs> two Acquainted Fade. Oh my gosh, huge reward, guys. The three hours I spent getting these, all worth it suddenly. You know, no biggie. I'll do it again for two <laughs> Acquainted Fade. I'm thinking, let's do... What should we do first? Should we do weapon or should we do artifact? Wait, why does my Toma have the Homer? Oh, maybe that's why Toma has the Homer. Did I think it was just a fun joke to, to make that rhyme? No, I must have put it on him for a video or something. Anyways, okay, let's start with the Homer because I don't have much better choices. If it all goes to crap, we ultimately do have the deathmatch as well. That's R3. But um, let's start with this. And what are his initial stats with a weapon? So he's got 1k attack, 0 EM. We, we need to get that up. Um, 5% crit rate, 155 crit damage. Very big. Um, and nothing else for the time being. So let's get some artifacts on him. 
I've already pre-farmed a lot of this and recycled all the garbage ones. You can see the ones I've left are all locked. Okay, I think it was this one. I'm going with this one just because it's got four crit rate, two attack. I think this is unironically our best bet. Let me just have a quick look though. I think we'll go with this. For sure, I'm gonna take this off you. Oh, for the feather, I haven't leveled them up yet. The reason why is I had a couple. Um, where where is it? I had this one, which had attack, crit, and EM. And then I had this one, which had double crit. So just depending on how they roll, we'll decide which one to go with. So maybe we'll start with this one. I think Yenfei was my Sinnoh artifact holder for the time being. Let's, uh, let's see how many crit rolls we can get, and then we'll go from there. Fingers crossed, you know. Oh, oh, good start. One crit roll already. And because this started with four lines, this honestly could be pretty good. Every single time is a 50-50. We just got, oh my god, I almost clicked. How about we, uh, how about we take it up to level eight first? Then we'll see. Show me the goods. Oh, that's not good. Okay, um, maybe we give it one more chance. What do you guys think? This takes it straight to 12. Here we go. Okay, redeemed. Now it's got three crit right rolls. And I think we need crit right, right? Because um, we have a lot of crit damage right now. Okay, I, I guess we keep it going, right? Am I out of fodder? Oh my gosh, I'm out of fodder. Not to worry, guys. I have uh, a bunch of random stuff here that we can chuck in. I guess we keep going with this. This already has four rolls. Potentially can go up to six. Let's keep it going. This all looks pretty copium to me. I think we chuck these in. Here we go. Oh, double. Let's see how we go for level 16. One more crit. Oh? Yo, what is happening, guys? What is happening? Double XP and it went into crit rate again. It's like I it knows I have a oh, yell on off piece. It's like it knows that... Uh, oh my god, what is this? Oh! Sorry, I'm getting very excited. Um, This is the moment of truth, guys. Last little bit. Here we go. Another crit rate, if not crit damage, please. Keep it good. Oh my gosh. Yo, this piece, apart from that one defense roll, rolled like crazy. That's 28 crit value on the bottom, 14, 15 on the top. Oh, that's like 43 crit value. That is an amazing piece. And the best part is that we've really need crit rate, so it kind of works out. This piece has 10% crit rate. This is 14. Maybe we don't need a crit rate circlet. Maybe we can make this work. I don't know. Maybe I shouldn't get too excited first. <laughs> How about we start it slow? So in terms of the sands, my sand options are pretty bad. This is where it gets bad. I think he wants to run in EM1. My best EM1 is this one here. So three attack, two crit, and two ER. So not completely wasteful. And the main thing is that his burst also costs 80 energy. So I think he wants a little bit of ER to make that a bit easier. Uh, in terms of electro goblets, I think I had some good ones. Let's have a quick look. Okay, so let's have a look. We've got this one here on Fischl. That's three crit damage, one crit rate, and I think two to three EM. So not bad. Two, two, and some ER. 2 EM, 3 attack. Honestly, this is a bunch of damage, but is there anything with more crit rate? Okay, this is going to be a tough choice. Ideally, we want as much crit rate as possible, but this one has more attack rolls. 2, 3, 1, 2. No wasted stats. So literally uh, 8 damage rolls. This one has 4 damage rolls, 2 ER. I think we take this one. Even though it's a little bit less crit rate, I think we take it. Okay, and here we go. Um, let's have a look at our current stats before we put on our circlet. We're at 4190 already. Oh my gosh. Okay, I don't think we're going to be able to get away with running non-crit rate, but let's have a look. So we've got two options. I have a pre-leveled crit rate one with one attack and three crit damage. It's not bad. Or... We could go even deeper on the crit damage journey and see how many crit ray rolls we can get here. The problem is, is at best we probably get like what, three of these down here? That means we're only at 50 crit rate, but we have like 250 crit damage. It's going to be a little crazy. But this one starts off with better substat rolls. One EM, one crit rate, one attack. I think, how about we level it up? And then if it's way better, we go with it. If it's not, we go with the crit rate one. It's all already leveled anyway. So here we go. Oh, except I have no fodder. That might be a little bit of a problem. Um, oh, who cares about this piece? Just chuck it in. And this piece, why do I have a defense? Sands leveled up, what the hell? How about we chuck those in and let's see how it rolls first. Fingers crossed, crit rate. Oh my gosh. Uh, 
I am actually speechless. What? Yo, it went all into crit rate. What? That's three rolls of crit rate back to back? I don't believe it. I don't want to believe it. That was so insane. Okay, I, I guess we'll, we'll keep leveling it at this point. Okay, here we go. One more roll. Surely no, no more crit rate. No, stop it, stop it, stop it. No. There's no way. What is this piece? This is the most insane luck. Maybe Sinner is blessed. Ugh, now we just have to finish it off. This is so crazy, guys. Regardless of what happens, 16% crit rate is already insane. I love it. No, we will use two, uh, we'll use two flowers. Here we go, guys. Final roll. Okay, okay, okay. It went EM. And EM is actually good too. Uh, well, I'm glad we tried, because that is an insane piece. Outside of the one defense roll, which could have been like, what, ER? This is borderline perfect. This is such a crazy piece. This might be my best circlet ever. So final stats with Staff of Homer, 1.8k attack, 263 EM. Okay, the crit rate's not that bad. 57 crit rate for 250 crit damage, 110 ER, and 61 electro damage bonus. So, wow, that was insane. I don't, I don't even know what to say. He's just cracked out of his mind now. What happens if he goes deathmatch, right? So 1.8 drops to 1.7. 93, 180? Oh, wait, that might be better. The ratio is much better, but um, we definitely lose a lot of attack, over 100 attack. Hey guys, editor in vain here. So after I got my artifacts rolled and we had that insane luck on the feather and the circlet, I think I got a little too excited and I forgot to upgrade my talents. Then I go on testing out Sinnoh for about an hour before realizing, but don't worry, there's footage of me testing and leveling that up as well afterwards. I have a bit of a light bulb moment later on. All right, back to the video. And why not start off testing him uh, on some commissions? The team I'm actually looking to run is going to look a little different to my friendship team right now, but that's okay. Uh, Who ate a poisonous mushroom this time? That was me, I'm sorry. Okay, it's, it's not going to be this team, so don't worry, but it does give us Dendro so that we can test it out. Um, and let's come over here. Guys, this is so insane. I My, my Sinnoh is just juiced out of his mind. Mind you, I, I still kind of don't know how to play him. Surely you just burst and then mash E, right? I think. Okay, let's try it. Oh my god, that is so cool. Okay, E? Okay? I think I probably... um. Oh, what's this? When that comes on screen, I think I meant to tap E. Oh? Wait, the cooldown's so low. Oh my gosh, I should have been mashing E this whole time. What am I doing? Not bad, not bad. I think we definitely want something with Dendro, though, so can I... Uh... I can try out Aggravate, because that was the main comp I wanted to try. Though I'm sure um, using him with Hydro is also fine. Um, I don't think this is what we bought Sinnoh to Mondstadt to do. I haven't done the story yet, but I'm sure he's important to the lore. He's in some pyramid somewhere, doing something important, protecting the uh, desert, playing Yu-Gi-Oh! Um, but here we are instead. Talking to Hill Trolls. Okay, then now they're all dancing. When are they going to put this in Fortnite, huh? And uh, don't tell Tignutty this, it was nice using him while I could, but the second he's at Friendship 10, he's gone. Kole too, actually. Shh, don't tell them. Oh my gosh, the wings. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Unironically, the black ones kind of fit. Mm, okay, I'm thinking between the purple and the <laughs> last anniversary's compensation. I think I might use these. Okay. I don't think I'm charge attacking on him, right? Yeah, that doesn't look right. Ow, 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 ow. I'm getting my ass kicked. This way. Oh, wait, I've never heard this. Is that new? Also, there's something about Sinnoh not wearing shoes. It kind of freaks me out a little bit when he's um when he's not walking on the sand because it just doesn't feel right, you know? So we want to get rid of this guy. Some god tier speedrunner strats. Let's go. So far, I've been loving his design. He's been pretty fun to play. I think you just burst, spam autos, and uh, use E whenever it's off cooldown. Or actually, I think from what I saw, that big thing that appears on the screen, I think it's an eye. When that pops up, I think you're meant to press E and you have an empowered E. One day we'll be done friendship farming, but today is not that day. Let me 
need to oh. confirm. No, yes. no, 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 no. All tasks no. on the checklist are complete. No, no events. Traveler, I forgot the Your event started today. Um, well, I'll be right back. Oh no, Kai is coming. Okay, okay, let's go. Yes, bye, Catherine. Bye, Catherine. Thank you, thank you. Oh, okay. Well, luckily for us, it wasn't too long. You know, the, the suffering was only brief. Here we go. This is what we're, this is what we're actually here for. I finally leveled up a Dendro character. That's a support, so we can actually run an Aggravate team. Until now, it's pretty much just been uh, Tignati, my only leveled Dendro character. Kole is still stuck at level 10, even though she's C5 now with new Spiral Abyss free Kole. So how about we try out center on our first victim, the big Dorito chip with the two triangle titties. Oh, it's so hot. Uh, Tignati, are you okay? You a little thirsty there, buddy? I started talking about the Dorito chip and he's like, oh, it's so hot. Okay, anyways. So the team I'm actually planning on using I think we'll do something like this. So this is pretty much my Tignutty team, except instead of Dendro here, uh, being Tignutty, we've now swapped it for Traveler or in vain sus, whichever you want to go with. So I have fought the Dorito chip once on stream while farming for Candice. I would be lying if I said I knew what it did. All I know is that I think you need Electra to break some stuff. So we summon Oz. Alright, editor in vain back here again. So before the comments go off, I don't really realize how to play Sinnoh at this point. So I'm not eing when the eye appears. I also haven't leveled up my talents, so this is some very scuffed gameplay, but this is the very first time I use Sinnoh, so I thought I'd leave it in here. Oh, this is the eye thing. Oh my god, what just happened? There were so many numbers. Okay, okay, okay. I think I need a switch. What what the Okay. Uh official? I think you do some stuff here, right? Sinnoh, do you do some stuff here? What are we doing? Break it, come on. Please. Okay, that's one. That's two. Use Electro to trigger some... something. Uh... Sure. Electro? Did it work? Oh, okay, he's fallen, he's fallen. I'm fallen. Grandma's fallen. Quick. We need to go in. So we auto... Give me the eye thing. I want to see the eye thing again. Oh, here we go. Oh? Yo, that was a lot of numbers. Yo, that's kind of hot, man. Ah, it's so hot. Well, not sure if the boss is easy, which it obviously could be, or Sinnoh is actually not too bad. It's probably the first one, <laughs> but I can cope. I can cope. I just farmed 169 scarabs. Don't take this away from me because I will be depressed. Okay, so what should we do next? Shall we try out another boss? I have not tried whatever this thing is. So maybe we'll go fight that for the first time. As long as it's not underground. I'm... You are not Wait. welcome here. <sighs> That's okay. I'm just going to get my Dendro Oculus and leave. That's okay. Goodbye, goodbye. Wait, is he going to fall? Oh, no, he just vanished. I don't think I had too many energy issues, mainly because I think I'm running potentially triple Favonius. Okay, that's kind of cheating, but um, if it works, it works, right? Wait, so where is this thing? Don't tell me it's underground. I have a feeling it's underground. Let's have a look. I have a feeling. Oh, oh my God. My brain is so big, guys. Oh my God. It's disgusting how big my brain is. This is it, isn't it? It is. It really is. Okay, well, I thought this was just a mob in the trailer. I guess it's a boss. The Metal Gear to rule Metal Gears. Okay, here we go. Um, This is going to be a first. Fischl. Uh, Dendro MC. Drop the mushroom jellyfish thing. And then I guess we just need a burst. Here we go. Okay. We're aggravating. I saw an 18k in there. 17k? Is this normal? Oh, 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 okay. Uh, my shield. My shield wore off. I forgot. And Sinnoh. Back on for you. A victory. Oh, I don't know what that means, but we keep going. Oh my gosh. Dude, his attack speed is so crazy. I feel like I'm, I'm freaking Sonic or something. <laughs> Yo, and he looks so sick. Wait, he is like one of the coolest bursts. Him and Raiden, man. Some of these Electro characters, they get the sickest stuff. 
Edit in vain here again, so that weird eye thing that pops up in Sinnoh's verse is actually one of his talents. Essentially, you're just going to get that periodically and you want to make sure that you're pressing E when that eye pops up. You're going to do extra damage and it shoots out some extra bolts. But clearly, uh, I have problems reading or something, so... So just to demonstrate the damage with the correct rotation, you start with a little bit of Dendro, Fischl, you shield up and then you give the tenacity buff to Sinnoh. You start autoing, and then the second you see the eye thing pop up, you want to press E, you get a yellow circle, letting you know that you've actually done it correctly, and then you just keep doing it until you see it again, and you keep repeating. And when you do this, you actually do like 10 billion damage. Uh, but I really wasn't paying attention last time, so that's my bad, that's my bad. Alright, now, back to the video. We, we didn't really get to figure out what it does, but it, it's dead. So, I guess on to the next thing. Running, 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 running. Okay, so back to my point earlier. The reason why it kind of freaks me out that he doesn't wear shoes is because, like, here in Australia, uh, growing up, there are a lot of um, things in the grass. Whether it's spiders, snakes, or even just weeds that drop these little, like, pricks that just get stuck in your feet. So this this kind of freaks me out. I hate it. Uh, but I'm sure someone out there appreciates it, if you know what I mean. Mr. Primo Giovisha. Um, I'm sorry to wake you up from your nap. I know it's been a couple days. I hope you don't mind. Oh, come on. There we go. I just needed one energy. First time? Okay, here we go. E. E. Can I get the uh, the bonus version already? Dude, what is this cooldown on the E? I'm like mashing it like crazy. Like every two seconds. Okay, it's time for round two. Here we go. I, I don't think he's big number kind of guy. I saw a 27k. I think his thing is he just hits really fast. Or maybe you're an idiot and forgot to level up your talents. Did you think about that? Honestly, his fit is so sick. I don't think we struggle too much with that. I'm not even coping this time. I'm just abusing the Wii. Um, and why not go back to a classic? We have not fought Senora in a while. Doesn't she deserve love too? And by love, I mean turning her into Ash again. Maybe another reason I like aggravate comps is because you don't need to use your brain. And I'm already freezing. That's fine. Here we go. It's finally time to start hitting. What is happening? I can't touch her. Oh? Yo, that was fat. Wait, I'm dying. I'm dying. I'm freezing. So it seems like a... Uh, wait. Guys. I did all this testing. That was all with level 1 talents. Am I... Am I okay? Guys, I don't think I'm okay today. I'll be back. How about we do his talents real quick, yeah? Uh, talents, talents. So I think I've pre-farmed for it. I think his burst is also the most important. Then is he. Here we go. Level up montage. It's been a while where I haven't had to um farm for a local material. Unfortunately, I've got a billion of these scrolls saved up from... uh. All the other regions, so that's nice. But how about we start with eight and eight? Seven. Okay, I think we need some more now. And who do we use? I guess we use Eula. Oh, no, 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 definitely not her. Eula should give us an extra one, right? We've been very lucky today. Maybe... Okay, never mind, just normal luck. I'm down to gamble it like this. Let's see if she can double randomly. Okay, like I said, if she doubles randomly, that's pretty pog. And that means we can do... Oh, let's just double check. Okay, yeah, we have perfect amount. So there we go, that's level 8. And that's level 9. Hmm, well, that might explain why we were doing peanut damage. So now that we've also leveled up Sinner's talents, we're at 50.9 million Mora. We started at 54, so we spent roughly 3 million more in total. A hefty chunk of change. But what I'm more worried about is my EXP books. These are disappearing so fast and I still have so many characters to get through in Sumeru, so that's going to be a problem. I felt like uh, Sinner was maybe a little on the weak side when we were fighting before, but now that he has talent levels, I think things might change a little bit. How about how about we test on Primo Geovisha? Round 2, you know? Oh, speedrun strats? Okay, it wasn't that far. I thought it went longer than that. That's my bad. Let's try this again. I know I was only here like 10 minutes ago, but one more time, please. 
please, if I could uh, do this. Here we go. Okay, so now we're doing 9, 10k in order, and E is doing already like 23. Oh my gosh. Yeah, this is uh, this is definitely a lot easier. <laughs> I think I'm doing like 50% to 100% more damage. Okay. Um, hmm. Probably should have done this one from the start. That's a little bit of a skill issue. A little bit of a brain cell issue. Okay, I think the Geo Bishop just killed himself on me, but also, geez, that damage. Signora, we're here for a retry. I've come back. I've hit the weights. I've been abusing steroids and we're ready to go. Okay, here we go. Oh, I can't see anything. How can you even see me? I'm inside the pillar, apparently. Here we go. And then now Sinnoh can go crazy. Okay. Immediately way more damage. Oh yeah, this is way better. This is like 10 times better. And uh, a little little bit of cheating here. What you can do, if you plonk a Zuli pillar right here, you don't need to walk up to hit it anymore. All you need to do is pick up the flower and your pillar will attack it. Okay, here we go. It might be time to, to DPS now. Okay, where's she going? Time to kick her ass. I think the bird is a little far, but we can still do this. Oh, oh. Um, that was sick. I didn't know Sinnoh jumped. Okay, tackle with this. Except I missed. A little bit of a skill issue. I know. Where is she? And then a little bit of danger. Oh my god, the range is so small. Okay, let's finish it with an E. <laughs> well, a little bit of a scuffed boss fight, but we did it in the end. Shall we finish this off, guys, with a final test? Raiden boss. Until we get Scaramouche boss battle, um, Raiden boss fight will still be the way to test it. This is gonna be fine, guys. I'm a pro at this boss battle now. You guys have let me know in the comments um, that I can hit the little thing with the Electro and it will one-tap it. So, look, I'm I'm ready to go pro. He's goaded out of his mind now. Okay, I just need Raiden to not teleport too much because I do have a little bit of a problem with this comp in that my mushroom and my bird cannot really move with me much. Oh, wait. This is not doing as well as I thought. Why is she blocking all my attacks? Hello? Bird. Uh, e. E. Okay. And now it's time to smack. What? Already? She's cheating. This is not fair, guys. What is this? What? Is this new? Oh, I've never seen this attack before. What the? Oh, no. His in vain learnt? He has. Look at that. He one-shot the Electro thing. Turns out, I didn't have to sacrifice all those people last time with Dory. Um, wait, what the hell is this? I'm getting chased? Yo, 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 what the? Okay, any second now. Come on. The shield is, uh, like the thickest thing ever. Okay, well, technically Zhong Li is the thickest thing ever. Okay, here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. She's down. It's our time. Okay. We're doing the okay damage. Where's my eye thing? Isn't that meant to show? Oh, here it is. Oh, I'm mistiming everything. I think I'm mistiming everything. Oh my gosh. I'm like literally just off by a second. Here we go. Now we just wait for the eye. I'll wait for the eye to show up and then we tap it. Here we go. Empowered E. There we go. And then a powdy. Here we go. Where is she? No, 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 no. We're not doing this again. Okay, things are fine. Things are fine. <laughs> things are fine. I'm coping. Well, don't worry. I, I figured out in the, at the very end that you need to time it. Okay. Oh, let me reach. Let me reach. Where is she? Oh, charged attack. What the hell is this? Okay, I don't think you're meant to use that one. Now I know to time my thing. So whenever the eye shows up, we're pressing E. <laughs> it only took an hour of gameplay to figure that out. Congratulations. All right, guys, let's wrap it up with my final thoughts about Sinnoh. All right, now that we've leveled up Sinnoh, what are my final thoughts on him? Well, apart from the fact that he's got no shoes on uh, and he has no nipples, he's, he's all right. <laughs> Everything else about him is pretty sick. From his skills, to his burst, to his outfit, it's all amazing. Also, the voice actor's done an amazing job. In terms of his kit itself, the damage seems not too bad, though it's probably not one of the best DPSs you could go for, but it's fun to play. So, 
That's one of the big factors for me is that when you use a Thundering Fury set, his E cooldown is just so low in his burst that you can constantly spam it. Apart from that, he's relatively cheap to build because you actually don't need to level up his auto attacks. And that's because most of his damage actually comes from the burst and the E. Um, he also does have a lot of flexible options in terms of team building whether you run him in a taser comp or you run him in a aggravate comp like I have here. Ultimately, the choice is yours. If you love his design, you love his playstyle, I think it's definitely worth pulling for him. But if you're looking to be a super meta player, not a husband or a waifu collector, Sinnoh might not be the best choice. But with that, that's pretty much all I had about Sinnoh. So thank you everyone for watching till the end of the video. There's been so much happening with Genshin recently with all these new patches, characters, and the events that are happening. So hopefully a lot of content to come out on this YouTube channel. Also, if you haven't already, make sure to like, sub, and hit that bell. It helps me out a lot. You can also find me streaming Genshin and other games on Twitch. And why not join our community Discord to stay up to date with all my content. Link to both down in the description. Anyways, love you all, take care, and I'll see all of you bullies in the next video.